Good evening everybody and happy British summertime arriving. I'm not sure where the rest of you countries are and when your time clocks are changing, but ours have just changed, so we've all lost an hour this uh, today, so I'm a bit discombobulated by that whole thing. Um, so, you know, we've also had, um, basically British summertime means it's a, a shift into the new and this is a really, really good time to assess how the past three months have been and where you want to go now. Excuse my um, granny thingies. You see, the thing is, if I put my glasses in my hair, when my hair's all big like this, it drags it out and pulls it and it hurts. I'm, I'm a wimp, so I wear my pretty granny thingies. What are these beady thingy me jiggies? Anyway, so, what I was going to recommend you all do is to do a little bit of analysis of how you've been doing. Now, you know I love a journal. Mine has a pretty sticker on it from my daughter. And at the beginning of the year, because it was January, I wrote um, basically how I wanted everything in my health, my home, my salon, and the mummy whisperer to go. I'm gonna flash it in front of you really, really quickly. Kidding. And you'll see some ticks. There's a few ticks. There's quite a few ticks, actually. You know, I would say that, yeah, I would, some things are kind of halfway, so I haven't ticked them. So, um, but yeah, there's been generally good progress. Now, when I, I also uh, did like a month on month thing, so I just kind of write out each month that's got a little bit less progress. And so I think that's where some of my current frustration is. Um, I've had lots of progress, but not all of it is as measurable as I was hoping for. Um, when I look at it from my whole year, I've made like a list of goals for my whole year as well. And actually, yeah, I can see how I can catch up really easily from there. Posey, he was shaking his head. Um, and then what I did was I did my wheel of life. Now, um, here's my wheel from the beginning of the year. Um, if you come and join my Facebook group, Create Your Dream Life with a Mummy Whisperer, I will post in there another picture of a wheel of life for you. So even if you didn't do it at the beginning of the year, I really recommend you do it now because it can be really surprising. I've just gone through my wheel again now and it's definitely much, much healthier. I would say that what it is is I'm feeling much more secure, my boundaries are better, I'm much less stressed, much less overwhelmed. So I can see how I have made good, solid progress. Um, and that's why it's always a good idea. Don't make goals so that you can beat yourself up for not achieving them, but so that you can see what you have and haven't achieved, where you may want to adjust and so on. You know I love a journal. I even have written down kind of all of the blocks and emotional and mental stuff I wanted to work through. I would say none of it's finished, but there's like, there's been good steady progress across everything. So if you haven't already started journaling, now is a brilliant time. And what you do is you think about the main things in your life. So for me, health, home, and my two workplaces. Think about what you'd love to achieve by the end of the year and then highlight what it is that you want to achieve in the next three months. Um, join my Facebook group, Create Your Dream Life with the Mummy Whisperer. Get that wheel of life and very spontaneously just mark each area out of 10. It gives you an idea as to where you're at and what your prime area is to focus on for the next three months. It's good to make overall progress like I've made, but I think probably that what I really want to do is Let's focus on a couple of areas um, for the next three months. So, you know, if you, you, you need to remember that this is not about thinking, oh, what have I not done? So I'm gonna now, for the next couple of days, actually have a little look through my journal and get a much stronger feel for what I have managed to achieve and what I haven't managed to achieve. I'm pretty clear of the overall goal for the next three months, that's quite obvious, but this is to 
give more, I'll, what I'll find from this is I've achieved so much more. Normally, generally, when I look through this, there'll be so much more that I've achieved that I've often forgotten about. We often forget how much we've done. So that was my encouragement for you to do over the next few days. Um, the next thing was, do you know what? When I was looking at this, I was just going to do a general healing for you to kind of clear, clear away any worries you've had about the past three months and then give you energy towards choosing what you'd like to do for the next three months. But actually, I changed my mind when I did this and I think, yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a healing with you to help you clear through any disappointment of anything that maybe you haven't achieved. And then let's just rocket boost the next three months. Yeah, because actually... I've had really good progress, it's like a 0.5 increase on everything, but what I'm really wanting is a huge, huge boost in the next three months. That's, that's my plan. So if that's your plan too, then I would definitely recommend you join in with this healing. And don't forget that you can do it as often as you like. The only thing I would say is if you didn't do yesterday's healing which was all about giving and receiving then you may want to do that one as well you can do this one then do that one then come back to this one because our success and abundance and health and everything depends so much on us actually being um able to receive you know we give 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 all the time there needs to be a balance as i said yesterday okay so let's do this. Let's get some real energy going into our lives and creating like this massive rocket boost so that in three months time when I do another one of these videos, you're gonna be going, oh my goodness, the last three months has been amazing. I have just like made so many changes and I'm just feeling so much better about whatever it is you wanted to feel better about. Okay, so um, if you're lying in bed, that's absolutely fine. If not, sit comfortably. You don't have to sit up too straight because it's not very relaxed. So just kind of lean back a little bit. Okay. Apologies if the dog barks or whatever. It's fine. The healing still works. Okay. Okay, take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and long breath out through the mouth. Just imagine all of the stresses of this last weekend, the last week, the last three months, just rolling off your shoulders. Now put your feet on the floor. Imagine the roots going into the ground, down, 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 into the center of the earth, grounding you and connecting you to the earth. Imagine the energy coming up through the earth, up into your toes, into your feet, up into your legs, up into your hips, up into your body up to your shoulders, relaxing your shoulders, down your arms and your hands and fingers, up through your neck, into your head, connecting you and grounding you, keeping you in that safe cocoon with Mother Earth. Then imagine that there's this pure healing coming down from above, down into your head. Don't worry if you can't see anything, just imagine like it's happening into your head, down into your throat, down your shoulders, arms, hands and fingers, into your body, hips, down your legs and into your feet. So you're now safe and sound and protected and we can start the healing. So this works for you watching now or on recap and you can watch as many times as you like. And my intention is that this healing is there for you whenever you like. You can share it with your friends as well. So my 
imagine. Now I'm just sending energy to you, helping you to clear out any disappointments you might have for the past three months, any frustrations about slowness or lack of progress. This might be going to specific areas in your body or just generally flowing all the way through your body from the top down to your toes. Imagine it swirling round, catching all those hidden little frustrations, annoyances. Clearing them out. We don't need to take them with us into the next three months. We're going to start afresh. Well done, good. Still clearing through a few little remaining blocks and frustrations. Focusing now just on the heart area. Helping you to see how much you actually did achieve. Sometimes even a few steps back teaches us something that helps us to move forwards faster. Steady progress is good. Now we're calling in this real boost of energy. And here we're gonna rocket boost our goals and our dreams and everything that we would love for our families and our life, remembering that we deserve to have the lives of our dreams. There's no reason why not. There's just an abundance of everybody. And as we lift up, we lift up our families, our children, and all the people around us. Imagine this lovely, vibrant, powerful energy just flowing through your body, filling you with life and energy and sparkle and potential. Loads of energy now coming into your heart, giving it the boost and confidence it needs. You can see now, you can see all your goals and dreams shining off out of you, sparking off like little fireworks and rockets off to be created. So as you write your goals and dreams over the next few days, you're creating these little fireworks of ideas that will go off and energize themselves. I'm feeling that healing in with just a general prayer for abundance and health and harmony for everybody in our lives. As we learn to love ourselves more, and appreciate ourselves more and appreciate every little step we make, every little thing that we achieve, every little challenge that we face. We teach our kids to be able to do the same thing And then that can spread out into our home and our town or village or city and then out across the world. Because as we do well, we share. Into the 
bookworm wiggles your hands, toes and fingers. There we go. Um, remember to have a glass of water as well. I brought my jug of water down, but I've completely lost it. So who's been watching? Oh, hi guys, you've been watching. If you missed the beginning of the meditation, don't worry, you can catch up. And anyway, you can watch it again later on. So, I hope that meditation and that healing energy has really lifted your spirits and given you a boost. Please do do that exercise that I mentioned. Please do come and join my Facebook group, Create the Dream, Your Dream Life with the Mummy Whisperer, and I will post that picture of the Wheel of Life so that even if you didn't do the exercise at the beginning of the year, then you can do it now and so that then you can really see how you've progressed. If you haven't joined in with me with the whole journaling and malarkey, please do, because you will, you will just see that you've done so much more than you thought you've achieved and you'll be able to really appreciate yourself as well. Um, for anybody looking for a little bit more help with what you've got coming up over the next um, few weeks to months to year, don't forget um, I have still got a couple of spaces open on my six week online course, Happier Mums Use the Law of Attraction. If you want any information just let me know but there are some links, um, I'll, I'll pop a link below here so that you can have a little look at that. Um, so far, most people who've been interested in that are actually jumping straight on to my six month um, Manifesting Mums support group. So this is where I hold your hands for the next six months and help you to focus on what you'd love to achieve, make sure that you understand how to use the law of attraction to do so. There'll be something every single week basically to keep you on track and um, really help you achieve your your goals and your dreams because remember you deserve them we all deserve them okay any questions just pop me a message and um, remember you can use this healing as often as you like and you can share it with your friends as well it works for everybody take care bye bye